welcome back to the amazing interwebs where we the members of the captain's quadrant were here to talk about all things star trek in our section of the universe it's our quadrant the captain's quadrant with me this week is our good friends my co-hosts you know them you love them i love them they're my buddies operative jason and jason on emergency frequency gentlemen we are wrapping up lower decks it is so good to see both of you and i'm glad you're here for this end of the road with that lower deck show yeah yeah all right, so let's hop in. Oh, we both said something at the same time and then yeah. went silent. That's good <laughs> yeah, no, I'm right. looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to having a chat about it. I thought it was uh, it was a fun end of you know season kind of show. Nothing kind of groundbreaking, but you know here we are. And you've just disappeared. You've gone into the space void, Captain. Yeah. There you are. Yeah, I have, so like. <laughs> Here's the secret. You have your monitor behind you. I have it in front of me. Yeah, it's just like illuminating so, you. So if I don't keep moving my mouse pad, it's going to go black and then it's... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to get you another light, I reckon. Yeah. Uh, either yeah. way, yeah, I'm excited to have a talk about it. Are we letting the cat out of the bag? Oh, this is a special double episode. Tonight. Yes, yes. If you notice in the beginning of our intro, it also said Prodigy because we're doing two for one. That's why we're here on a Tuesday. Two for Tuesday. All right, we're Very doing... Is that a episode. subway thing? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe perhaps. <laughs> uh we are gonna jump into first contact. Thanks. I just want to say for the record, the excitement you have about putting your bumps up is one of my favorite things uh offered to Jason. Because <laughs> you're like, oh first guy, here we go. You know? yeah, yeah. It's an hey, absolute there's delight. Nothing like hammering down a gag over and over and over again. <laughs> Yeah, There's nothing more that gives me delight. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so let's hop into it. Let's check out what we thought about Lower Decks, the final episode for the season. We'll start with Operative Jason. Yeah, look, uh, like I said before, it's, it's, it was a fun, I think, kind of good end of end of season episode. I mean, no, it kind of worked out the way I would expect it to work out, you know, with that little yeah. side adventure. It, it kind of wrapped itself up probably a little bit too neatly for me, but it was fun, you know. I mean, like, yeah, I don't know. No one really stood out to me. Um, there have definitely been stronger episodes of the season, but, yeah, overall, good times. All right. Jason on Emergency Frequency, please share us your response. I, I have to kind of echo that. It was a lot of fun. Nothing incredibly surprising. Um, there were a few things that didn't happen that I wish did, and a few things that did happen that I kind of wish didn't. But on the mm. whole, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a very satisfying end of the season. It feels good on the whole. Okay. I agree. Um, gross. <laughs> <there's>... <laughs> Let that one just go. <laughs> Get that reference. Okay, That's bro. gross. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> yeah. well, it's all right, guys. My mom's watching. So, uh, let us, uh, <laughs> yeah, it makes it worse. Uh, let us say hello to our friends here. We've got Prestige Media. Uh, hey guys. Um, hey, our good friend Nita F. Hello, guys. Hello, hello, Hi, Nita. Our good friend Aaron Sugar. Buen amigo. Es no bien. Es mal amigo. <laughs> Might say like he's 10 out of 10 for less you. buen amigo. He's there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Really? And then Aaron Sugar, uh, Prestige Media, our good friend KV, he says, "Yeah, he's such a dick." <laughs> I thought Not it was wrong. A, I, no, no, I thought it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's a, like you said, it wrapped up very neatly. It was a really mm. good bow on the season. Um, we knew where the things were going with the Texas class. I just wish they wouldn't have wrapped that up, and that's the part that I uh, think shouldn't have uh, been so. Finite. Uh, let us hop into pros and cons. Pros and cons. No episode. Oh no, summary. episode summary. Yes, 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 yes. Captain, that's that Romulan. Right. I'm going to hide that Romulan ale from you. All right. It's only a little bit. Uh, <laughs> the stars at night are twice as bright. Uh, in the season three finale, the Cerritos crew must prove their worth in a mission race. Yeah. Just, well, well, you want me to read you, again? No, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't touch some, it. Someone else touched that. No, nope, Romulan. Nope. So I got just a little bit of Romulan Al, just to you know, just a just a little bit, just a little bit, just a cap us off, you know. Um, 
bit of a goofy, goofy yeah. plot, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It is a kind of goofy, like, there's no way Starfleet would go for such a ridiculous no. idea. No. But, you know, it served its purpose, didn't it? I mean, yeah. I thought they were building up to something more. I did. I did, and they kind of, like, diverted course and went somewhere else. But um, I've got to admit, it reminded me of the old uh, American uh, history legend story of John Henry Irons when they were trying to um, have man versus machine as they were building the new rail tracks. Uh, I don't know if you guys have anything similar in Australia. Uh, no, like, hmm. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> Maybe, like, I'm just thinking about Trek at the moment. We may have had something. I know what you're getting at. It's that kind of that, that you know, that old tale of, you know, going up against the odds and going up against technology and right. change and right. trying to prove your worth. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like I said, if it was, like, I used to see this plot used in Saturday morning cartoons. I, yeah, you know, it's been used quite a lot, mm-hmm. quite regularly over the years. It's, uh, and that's what I was a bit, bit surprised at. I mean, honestly, but it came to the plot. Yeah, well, he went for it, and I, I think it, it paid off to an extent. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, I mean, the Texas class was, wasn't that like a two or three episode build up? Yeah. You know what I mean? It seems like a very simplistic payoff to a to a big build up. So, but I'm really kind of talking pros and cons at this point, aren't I? Yep. Let's hop into it. Should I move into? We should move into pros and cons. Is Jason ready for some pros and cons? Sometimes it may be good. Sometimes it may be shit. (laughs) There Uh, we go. Yes. Old gag. There you go. Oh, I do believe. That Jason, who's currently on emergency frequency, um, will need to shut down out of one and move into the other. Yes, one moment. It's like he's on, um, what was it, Starbase 80? I'm moment. having to rewrite Starbase 80. <laughs> We're just going to remove you out of this one and let you join back in there, Jace, as we kind of jump in. Hey, Joe, do you want to have a look at some of the comments while we're waiting on? Yeah, while we're waiting on that, let's, uh, let's have is. a nice chat. No, is. Picard is prime. Romulan supernova is the element that ties both universes. Uh, Picard is in the timeline. Lower decks isn't Picard. Uh, that yes, that Picard, Picard is not in the he, Kelvin timeline. No, 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 no. Ooh. I think we'll have to bring that one back up later for um, yeah. September. <laughs> Wait, now we're live. Hey guys, we're back. Yes, Nita, should... we went through the wormhole. We don't know what happened, but the I know what happened, back. and I'm sorry. <laughs> the this is what happens back. when you get delegated to Starbase uh, 80. I don't look good in drab olive jumpsuits. <laughs> <laughs> don't send me to Starbase 80. Oh man. Oh wow. wow. Now that was I. I will fess up. That was my fault. I was trying to get my other channel off of here and i hit the wrong button and i ended the entire broadcast i <laughs> self-destructed the captain's quadrant and i am sorry um, but we are resilient and we return yes, yes. and captain yeah. i think where we were last time was uh here and sometimes it may be good sometimes it may be shit all right indeed we're back <laughs> on course now pros and cons Right, so I I think that the big car uh, con this week was none other than the extremely quick wrap up of the Texas class arc um, that ended so quickly, and that could have been so much more uh, if they had me writing. I would have made it so <laughs> we would have had yes, we would have had uh, the peanut. Uh, what's your name? Peanut. Peanut hamper. Peanut hamper. Mathematically yeah. perfect name. Yes, peanut hamper and. Uh, all the other AI come together and take over the Texas class and, and make Starfleet regret having them. But it was nice to see the camaraderie, which was a pro, of all the California classes coming together to take down the Texas classes. And I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, the race for quick and easy was pretty funny, but alas, it ended quick and easy. So I'd love to hear from all hail... Bagley. Bagley is king. Badgy. Badgy. Oh, Badgy. How dare yeah. you? <laughs> May Badgy and the Great Koala damn you. So um, I should probably wear my glasses, but you probably. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, that's pretty much me. I thought that the story was wrapped up way too quick. Now, definitely, oh. definitely Lower Decks is not really known for huge arc-based storytelling. They even made fun of that in the season premiere whenever they resolved the cliffhanger off screen while, while the uh, main crew was screwing around. Right. Uh, yeah. So I wasn't really expecting the Texas class to carry over to next season. I was kind of expecting Agamus and Peanut Hamper and yes, maybe even Lore show up to uh, cause issues and take them over, uh, which was disappointing, but I'm, I'm not about to, you know, go all soups on this and, and uh, take off points for my own headcanon at all. Uh, <laughs> my, my main problem is that even though it was wrapped up quickly, I thought that the epilogue ended abruptly which kind of threw me. I was like, oh, those are the credits. It's over? Okay. No no uh, resolution with Jennifer? Okay. Um, that, that kind of made me a little weirded out. Plus the fact that Mariner's friend, who we haven't seen in almost like a season and a half, came on and gave the big speech at the end. I'm like, I'm sorry, who are you? This is not even <laughs> your shit. <laughs> ah, <yes. Yeah. laughs> Another yeah. thing I was not a huge yeah. fan of was... Admiral Buenamigo's Gig... Oh, yeah, I'll get to her in a minute. <laughs> you reminded me. I'll get to her in a minute. <laughs> One thing I did not like was Admiral Buenamigo's gigantic exposition dump slash I'm the villain explainer that he just went on and on and on about. And I'm just like, who wrote this? Who talks like this? I know this this is a comedy, but I mean, come on. Let's let's give let's let's do this a little bit better. You know, maybe he's maybe he pushed it through. Maybe he set them up to fail, but he's not a bad guy. He's not going to sit there and blow up the Cerritos. I'm I'm just I'm just tired of like bad admirals or bad admirals. Oh goodness, my camera. Aren't there always bad admirals though? Yeah, my camera's going crazy. There we go. Yeah, he's he's yeah. a bad admiral. We have we either have bad admirals or we had dad admirals. You know, the the admirals yes. you want to throw in jail or the dad admirals that you want to. Yeah. Anyway. Mm -hmm. um, Another thing, um, but I, I'm going to go into my con. Are we doing pros now? I'm going to do pros. Now. You can do, you can do pros Stop and me. cons. I'm going to do my pros pros. and cons. Sorry. Yes. Um, to 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 real to real to the the uh, the Vulcan lady who's been yes. missing for a year. Right. I was yes. so happy to see her show up. Instantaneous season four fodder. I cannot wait to see her <laughs> yeah. and Tindy just become tolerable cohorts as i'm sure she's going to be referred to you are quite tolerable <laughs> this is my friend she is green <laughs> i i just think that there's all kinds of great comedy in there the camaraderie seeing all the cali class ships come together to defeat the texas class was a lot of fun to lynn is there a political name? thing lynn, i'm missing there Thanks, Prestige. To Lynn, thank you. I, I knew somebody would pop in and tell me that I got it wrong, and I was <laughs> counting am on I that. Missing, thank you. Am I missing some political thing there with Texas and California? Because it, it, yes. it, it feels yeah. very like, like yeah. you know, Texas is going to come and destroy California, but California is going to, you know. Band together and, and yeah, well, you know, political a turmoil going yeah, on. Te yeah. Texas is just like, yeah, we got ourselves guns and freedom, and California's like, fifth largest economy in the world okay you know, enjoy <laughs> yeah, yeah. enjoy your you know open carry whatever yeah. you're doing over there yeah. um <laughs> even i was impressed englewood got a ship so I thought, yeah, yeah. yeah that's true <laughs> anaheim you you know anaheim has got like some disney theming on their ship they've got oh, yeah. the, did you also notice that the cali class ships all have I know that they all have different colors, but a lot of them have different uh, paint patterns on them as well. Yes, yeah, you know I yeah. really like that. I'm like, oh, they're yeah, going on Star Trek Online with that. <laughs> or or Picard season two at the end. Or oh, season yes. one at the oh, end. Yes. Uh, very little subtle interest. All right, Operative Jason, your pros and cons. Let's hear. Yeah, look, I mean, certainly I, I love Shaq's storyline, how he got mm. you know, Boimer upsets him with his... Uh, <laughs> with his impression of him and the fact that he gets that moment <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Poor, which oh, was I just a beautiful that. That moment was so awesome. that was amazing yeah, yeah and, it's, oh, and he's so genuine he goes oh you're all too kind thank you thank you <laughs> this is the <laughs> happiest the day of my life yeah <laughs> and the engineer um and I know who plays him it's that Paul guy I've seen him in Paul America. F. Tompkins he was Mr. Peanut no Lord. no no, he uh, the, what the the engineer, the guy with the mustache, this guy. I can never remember his name. And horrible. It's, See the engineer oh, um, there on the right. 
Yeah, that's a uh, oh my goodness, what is his name? Ooh, See, ooh, Billups. Ooh, Billups. Billups. Yes. Billups, I'm yeah. sorry, I named I named the uh, I named the voice actor, not the character. How about Correct. that? Correct. I really liked his little mini like plot as well because he's right into it. As soon as he hears about the race, he just beams, and every shot in the background and that he's just like yes. And when you have to, there's one scene where he's having to g everyone up. He's just loving every minute of him. And to see that moment with him and Shax, like, are doing the warp core. Uh, this is look at the face like this. Look, they're loving it. <laughs> and I love they're like, yes, let's do it. It makes yeah. me happy to see Shax yeah. happy. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was that was one of my favorite bits out of it. Yeah. Um, I really did like how the the ship turned in on itself straight well, turned on the, the star base straight away. I thought that was Pretty good. And it was a very – the good thing about the Texas class, I thought, was they were a real threat. You felt that they were a threat. Right. Um, you never thought at any point you thought the Cerritos had any chance against the sky. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, the fact that it took the whole California class to, to take it down was, yeah, pretty good. But the Admiral, the Badmiral, like, that is such a trope. It's like – if you don't do that storyline now, you're kind of not doing Trek. Not yeah, you're not in Star Trek. You don't have a bad role. Yeah, you're, yeah. yeah, as soon as you I'm turn Admiral, you know you've rules. got to go Elon. You're going you yeah. to turn into a villain straight yeah. away. Absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, nah, look, look, it's uh, it was rudimentary in the fact that, like I said before, we had like two or three episodes build up to this, what was going to be an event. And the event, they just went, it felt like the easiest path. <laughs> possible mm -hmm. for this like and that's how the episode kind of came off and and i also thought the the the, the disappointment with um the other major uh, b plot in that as well i mean like beckett's mariner storyline seemed that was built up for like half a season right and she goes along what does a couple of kids doesn't trust the person hired her straight away no and like he's nosy straight away trying to find out what the deal is um, I did I, like the Picard shout out. He, he was the one funding it all. Yeah, so, that was funny. Yeah, yeah, that was a good. And one. I thought you lazy bugger, Picard. You're just paying people to do your dirty work. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Quite honestly, I halfway expected Admiral Picard to show up, even if it was just on a on a calm call, and he'd yeah. be the one to talk Mariner into going back to Starfleet. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, I thought that that would have been good, but it's just I yeah. don't know the the name dropping. And then no payoff just kind of kind of irks me. There's another flat, con. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was. yeah, it was a bit flat, you know. And and I thought uh, I did like the Rutherford storyline though. Yeah, I mean, like that's cool. That is the AI, and that's what he recognized. And you know, when you talked about earlier, Jason, how he, the admiral gives himself up so quickly. Yeah, and Rutherford and, runs yeah. into the room, doesn't even get a chance to lay out the evidence he has. <laughs> he just. All right, I'm but sorry. He's already confessed <laughs> right off the bat. That was very Family Guy esque to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah kind of, that's yeah. kind of what I was thinking as well. You know, I just kind of it wouldn't have been funny if Rutherford ran into the room and then Buen Amigo just like went into that big exposition dump and Rutherford was like, "I was just going to ask the captain if she wanted lunch." No, nah, <laughs> yeah, that'd have been funny. Oh, by the way, some people are still asking me sorry about how I'm oh. going to Star Trek. Yes, yeah, so we'll let's see where are you. Catch up and see where we're about to be at the moment. Oh it's yes, so right before slow. Spock falls, flies into V'ger's butthole. Mm, yeah. Anyway, that's where we are. Um, but yeah, that was my pros and cons. All right, let's hop into the comments. All let's right, wrap up this section. Find, find some good ones here. Let's see. Yep. Oh, you're you're back on. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm the comment guy. You back off. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Captain. All right, take a step back. <laughs> so here we go. What have we got this week? Okay, you know, you may have to do the comments because I'm clicking on them and nothing's happening. Nothing nice. is showing. Okay, nice. you know what? You're comment guy. You're comment <laughs> guy this week. That's a season four confirmed, confirmed storyline. So they couldn't do that. And I am sure he's referring to the point where I said they could have had the AI take over the Texas class. So, Oh, yes. 
Yeah. Well, you know, an AI yeah. can take over any other starship if it wants to. That's true. That's true. And it's not just limited to this AI. Yeah. Uh, Anita brings up a good point. At least we got to find out more about Rutherford's implant. And I knew Buen Amigo was a bad guy. I oh, guess yeah. it, it was like uh, opposite day with a name. It's like, can, well, he's a bad guy. Well, so can we just, Buen can we, can, okay. So we made fun of the writers for the whole Buen Amigo in, exposition dump. Can, can we at least give them credit for the fact that we find out in this episode that his first name is Les? Yeah. Less, yes, less, less good amigo. buen amigo. Yeah, that was very clever. <laughs> that is next level writing right there. That was very good. There was very good. And here's a good. What one about from... Rutherford's implant though? We shouldn't undersell that. I did really like that they that that's what the AI was built on. You yeah. Know what I, mean? yeah. I also love his throwaway line um, about you know why he has still keeps the implant. It's Did you know so they took cool. everything away from me? Plus, it's so cool. <laughs> it's cool. It is super cool. Yeah, yeah, very true, very true. Now, here's something I missed. I keep, I know I was told about this, but I forgot to go back. Oh yeah, yeah. Captain Joe Dove. But that's because Without of the a... post credit scene. That's why the wrap up was short. So, did you guys see the, the post credit post credit scene? scene? Was like four seconds long though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, seriously, do you did I see the the post credit scene? Yes. I did. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. It's pretty clear, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and what do they do with a live action badge in Star Trek Picard? Is this a Thanos deal? Are we just getting snippets of badge to a giant kind of epic storyline at the end? Are you thinking like that Infinity War? Badge is the ultimate villain? Is that what we're no, going on? That's not. what you're building towards. Why not? Yeah, it looks you? like if it. You, if you're saving Badge for an after credit scene, you're implying that this guy is important. On the scale of the of this plot, of I, I'm the telling you, I'm telling you, it's going to be all the AIs teamed up, and they're going to throw in lore because they're going yeah. to need some legs. Yeah, yeah. literally. Yeah. And you know what? Like, like that's a really way, great way to kind of go down for the for the overall arc of this show is to be about humanity versus AI. I think that's oh, yeah. a, a great foundation. If that's what the whole show is going to be built on thematically, I think that's brilliant. I think that's fantastic. Well, they did do that because I know last week you were talking about how much you hated the idea of the Texas class being drones. And this yeah. week they, they took that on. They were like, no, that, that betrays everything that exploration is about. And they're completely right. And you were completely yeah. right. And I, yeah. I like that theme. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Aaron Sugar, our dear friend. Uh, I did like the computer interface <laughs> in the Texas class was the same as the M5 from the Ultimate Computer foreshadowing really? mm -hmm. yes it was yeah wow good pickup did not pick that up aaron yeah aaron's aaron's good like that uh i want to serve on the uss napa valley, <laughs> napa valley yeah they really went there how many did Me they cram too. out <laughs> in that who who was saying all the names was it boimler it was boimler and boimler, my gosh boimler. he was like boimler. firing them off how many yeah how many did he rattle off it's got to be at least 20 i reckon he rattled off yeah. Is that all the California classes that there are left, or just twenty of them now? I mean, be. I don't know. I'm assuming there's more, but the yeah, ones that couldn't I mean, make it. Yeah. Shake crying really got. Oh, me. I almost Shax, cried too. Shax, Shax. Yeah, yeah, Shax. And you know what? He's um, he was really heartbroken by that impression. <laughs> hey, that really affected him profoundly. And the but the beautiful moment is worth it, isn't it? It's all about that moment we get to. Stamp the warp core. Yeah, I I enjoy Shaq so much because he is beyond what he was at the beginning, where he was just angry and violent all the time, and he's yeah. just somebody who feels emotions intently. He's the yeah. opposite of Spock and Data. He what? he gets really happy. He gets really upset. He gets really angry. Yeah. And I there's yeah. no middle ground with Shax. And I, I I really enjoy that. It's fun. I, I really hope I that love he, the he uh, interacts with Tavil because or Tavel uh, Vulcan lady. I hope he, he hope he interacts with her because they're polar <laughs> opposites. <laughs> you mean I love Talin? the Talin. implication. Talin is her name. Talin. Yeah. I really love the implication that Bajorans kind of don't mean to be rude and yell and scream. It's just inherently part of them. Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel they're doing with that character. He's just a normal guy, but because of his severe, he's been in a war his whole life, basically fighting. That's just the way they are, you know. Yeah, they, I'm, they, I'm they cool talk with that. in extremes. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, yeah. Then... He's crying his eyes out, running. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then Freeman asks if she can trap it in the logic loop. The AI. That's pretty funny. 
Yeah, I did. And, like that and uh, of course, Rutherford has, you know, protected his computer against that because Rutherford's smart. Yep. Yes. Uh, another good one is that would be perfect if Badgie's in charge of the AI revolt. Yes. I, yeah. I think maybe it would, the, it would be. I think he's the big bad of the whole series. He's Badgie. He's it. I he's honestly don't Khan. think he's their like Thanos. He's their Darth Vader. I don't think Maybe Lower Decks is going to have a big bad of the series because that's arc based television and Lower Decks wipes their butt with arc based television. But I, I do agree. Yeah. I do agree, but he he will go down. There'll be an episode with him where they, they hype it up huge. It'll be she, an event episode. She did send a signal in the episode to the Borg. Yes, she did. She yeah. Did. Yeah, yeah, she did. So maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Uh-oh. Maybe we'll get Alice Creed back again. That would be kind That'd of That would be fun. cool. Yeah. Can we give Boimler some credit? He finally became bold Boimler in season one and two. Boimler would never have screamed at the captain. No, that is 100%. something that I do enjoy with this show is that they do stick to their characterization. And if yes. somebody grows, they keep it. And I, I like that. That's a lot of fun. 100% agree. I think that was a great scene. Uh, and obviously leading up to the scene, I can't keep stop talking about. But it was a great scene because he did stand up. Boimler yes. of season one never would have even thought about doing that. Would have had an anxiety attack just imagining it. Yeah. Can we just say Boimler is way overdue for a promotion also? Absolutely. Like a real promotion? Yeah. Like all Do you think that might Harry Kim in? Yeah. They yeah, probably will. Harry, yeah, yeah. I, I think Harry is the perfect guest on this show, you know, yeah. just, just for <laughs> Boimler to vent to. And of course, you know, you got to have Harry Kim promoted by then. Like, look, you'll, you're will you going to be an ensign for a while. I was an ensign for a very long time. A very, <laughs> very long. long time. And let him and be only in space. But wouldn't it, be great <laughs> if the, wouldn't it be great if they made Harry Kim, though, the most highest rank officer now? Yes. Like, he's, like five, he's got like this five triple, star yeah, fleet yeah, admiral. Yeah. He just was Harry able to Kim. skip all these <laughs> promotions. Yeah. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Well, all right. Let's go into our next. Well, we're going to take a break, I think, Joe. Yeah, we're going to head uh, move break. into uh, something else. Yeah. You have just entered a new dimension of play. Star Trek The Next Generation. Action figures, phaser, space sets, and Enterprise. Their mission? To boldly go where no one has gone before. Go with them. Star Trek The Next Generation, a world of action and adventure now in your galaxy from Galoob. <laughs> Captain's Log, Star Trek The Next Generation interactive video board game. Who is moving now? Tell me who. Your mission to save the Enterprise from Klingon Warrior Klabok. <laughs> Star Trek The Last Frontier in video board games. Hector Taco Bell at warp speed and start collecting Star Trek 3 glasses. Beam home spot. The secret of Baltrapan and fate of the Enterprise. Star Trek Three Glasses only at Taco Bell. It's just made for you. Hurry and buy this week's glass. Spock lives for just sixty-nine cents with the purchase of a large or medium soft drink at regular price. Hey, hey, oh, things are different. Here yeah. we go. I abandoned my post, but I had good reason. <laughs> Hold on, I have good reason. Oh, oh snap! You had wow, the glasses. you had the glasses. That's I have, incredible. That's I have two. the The one that broke was the, ironically, the one of the Enterprise blowing up. Oh wow! You should That's just take the pieces and put them in a piece, of another plastic. That'd be kind of funny. Captain, <laughs> I might as well explain what's happened. Why is it all different? It's because well, we're we... now going to be. Uh, Winding back the clock of the show, we're going to be talking about the first episode of the second part of the first season of Prodigy. Yes, correct. Well done, yes, sir. You said it perfectly. All right. So should we uh, should we crack straight into then? Well, the episode, episode summary for it. Yes. All right. Star Trek Prodigy, a moral star. Actually, it's Asylum. Well, this is the wrong episode. The wrong episode. Did How get dare the wrong... you? Oh, my. Somebody fire the producer. <laughs> <laughs> really? Was that the wrong episode? I that was the wrong episode. This was Asylum. 
Asylum. Allow, allow wow. me. Yes, Star please. Trek Prodigy, Asylum. <laughs> the crew venture to a Federation outpost in order to request asylum, but something goes wrong. There you go. I'll go Bingo. with that. What did I go? What? How did I not read this and think? Let's go back. When the plane goes wrong, right, the crew must improvise. That that was the that was the uh, the episode the one before, before this. Yeah. yeah. Yes. What am I doing? <laughs> actually, I'm starting to wonder now whether I actually watched the wrong show. Oh. <laughs> no, not true. I've got all the screen. Yes, so I've got all the screenshots for Asylum. So we're good. No, we're good. We're good. I'm just embarrassed. Now. <laughs> It's okay. Pop it up and go, Jason, no, that's Futurama. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. throughout the technical difficulties and mishaps, we are here to talk about <laughs> Prodigy. We're running a Cerritos class show today. Yeah, we are. This is yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We're on the California, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Should we go into the... Uh, Let's go into pros and cons. Yeah. Sometimes it may be good. Sometimes it may be shit. <laughs> All right. Normally we're we're extremely organized. So. <laughs> yeah, we're, hey, this is tough. we're doing a double episode. We've had yeah. We, <laughs> we don't we haven't had enough rack to Gino. You know. <laughs> That's it. That's All it. right. All right. I had my glasses on because my vision got blurry. So I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll bring it back. I'll bring it back. This episode of Prodigy. This is oh, how long was the break, guys? About eight nine oh, months. Eight months. Yeah. A long time. It was a yeah, long it was, time. Hey. Eh? It was uh, between uh, Picard and. And strange new worlds, I think. Well, there was no in between. Yeah, yeah. No, it was between uh, Discovery and Picard. Yeah, it was Discovery and Picard. Well, that's how. Like... Yeah. Oh, it's been because it, it was I think it Discovery. Was Discovery overlapped. No, it was With... November. It's been almost a year, hasn't it been? Yeah, you're November. probably right. Oh I feel like God. definitely. No, no, no. Before. Okay, the, the the initial episodes was in November, right. and then they waited until the Discovery was over. Okay, yeah, I'm doing the whole yeah. Mariner at the I, thing. I, yeah. I'm a Sulu. I'm a i the Sullivan. Either way, um, the, the idea of the episode is to really reintroduce every reintroduce everybody to the characters. Oh wow! And kind of set us off on the series, which I think this episode was specifically designed to do. Um, and I mean that in a good way because we yeah we got back in touch with everyone we yeah. we were able to establish where everybody was in their story, um, and then propel it forward and set up for the second half of the season. Did I absolutely love it? I uh, I did like a lot of it, but there was some things that fell flat for me. Um, but really, every time I've been watching the show, and certainly early when I when I caught up binge watched the show. Um, was I've struck how good this show is in regards to its writing. Yeah. For a show that's Nickelodeon kind of mm -hmm. tagged, like this is for kids is their implication, they deal with some pretty heady stuff and they do it in a mature way. And this episode, again, keeps that kind of humming along. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, a, a good way to get the audience re-engaged back with the uh, series this episode, I thought. Um, I loved the starship, and I loved the um, the uh, starbase handler who looked like Brad. space Ruli Giuliani. <laughs> I think I might have him somewhere. Keep going. <laughs> that's we'll not find him. him. That's not that's him. not him. That's, that's still not, not him either. We're gonna get there. That's folks. not him. That's not him. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. No, he's, he's like, if they, I'm finding every other pick except for the pick with that guy in it. <laughs> this used show, to be more organized than this. I'm just <laughs> now, I'm checking out. I'm going. I um, think. Me, I think this, Nita has uh, it perfectly. The face of the <laughs> Are you drinking blood? The blood light? Light? I don't know what's happened to them. Everything's throwing me off. Yeah. Oh. It's okay. But I know the guy you were talking about. He was cool. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah, was yeah. a Denobulan like Dr. Right. Fox. His name yeah, was Barnes Brett. So. Yeah. Oh, excellent, excellent. And to answer your question, uh, all hell, Badgie, October 28th, 2021 is when the show premiered originally. So it has been okay. over a year. Yes, but they, they took a break and then they came back and showed like five more episodes. And I think that was in January or February. Yeah. So it's been a while. Yeah, it was doesn't feel like while. it's been that long, though. But we've had so much Star while. Trek in between. I'm, 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 I'm happy with all this Star Trek. My I was going to say, there he is. Oh, there he is. That big, looking. I wanted to see if his hair was going to melt. Uh, 
you know, I really enjoyed that. I thought it was interesting to have, okay, I'm by myself sitting on this subspace station deep out. This is the furthest one out here. And, you know, uh, Mr. Trump said I could come out here and it would be okay. <laughs> so uh, I also like the the scanner when each one of them was going through and they weren't able to find uh, the race of certain characters. But uh, they did get a hit for... Um, the main doll. character doll and he's like all right well what is it oh you have to talk tech star starfleet yeah. so uh, and i will bring this up in future speculations but i do have a uh a theory as I to as well and we may have the same uh we may have the same i theory. wonder i don't think so but we'll see we'll see it'll be nice know. can we just address the brilliance of story writing to do that particular scene when i was talking about re-establishing everyone that's what i meant yeah like, the fact that if you were just jumping on the show what a great scene to be able to go, here's this person, this is what they are. We don't know about this person yet. There's mystery around this person. Right. It was just such a great way to get the kids locked back into where these characters are. Because in a world where we have so much content all the time, taking that break was a big risk, I thought. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, I think uh, Nita brings up a good point. My seven-year-old nephew likes Star Trek Prodigy and is learning about Star Trek because of the show. That's uh, what Paramount wants. Yeah, I yeah, wanted. To, yeah, a, I wanted to yeah. talk about that because I think that's a brilliant strategy by it them. It is. It is let's, brilliant, and I love it. Let's let's it use is. Picard to bring the 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 uh, Captain Dove and Operative Jason and all hell Badgy back. Yeah, let's, all you all you old people. Yes. Yeah, we're not old. We're, we're fine. We're fine and just You're just seasoned. Yeah, seasoned with yeah. formaldehyde. <laughs> and then they get the new generation with prodigy on the nickelodeon yes uh, side of things get those was, kids get them yeah. kids and get i thought that kids. was i thought it was brilliant and yeah, i, I look, think we we've talked about this uh, before but i just wanted to you know hit that home run off of that comment that it really well well i think the most surprising thing about it is like i said before the maturity level that they are approaching like they're dealing with these these episodes i mean they could have made it easy like, and very simplistic and very dumbed down, but they haven't, I think, you know, lowered their, their standards and the way they approach their stories for the right. show. Right. Like, I, I feel like some of these episodes could have easily translated to live action. Oh, absolutely. Um, and I think that's a massive compliment for a, a Nickelodeon branded show. It's yeah. very... Um... It's it's very dark in many ways. It, it reminds it me a lot of the Clone Wars. Even the animation yeah. style reminds me of the Clone Wars. Yeah. So you know, I'm I'm fine with that. I Same. I I think Star Trek lends itself very well to animation, and I actually want to see more animation from Star Trek. I want to see more animated shows. Yeah. Yeah. Those, I agree. those those Little Mermaid people were just awesome looking. Yeah, when they, they saved the whale. Yeah. Come, come on, they basically, the whale. they basically they basically redid the they they redid the 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 prologue of Star Trek Into Darkness and did it better. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah they I agree. Did. Wow. Yeah. They even stole some of the musical cues from from that. That dun 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 dun. I'm like, oh my gosh, are they doing the Kelvin theme? <laughs> yeah. You know the ship yeah. taking off through the atmosphere. That was that was their version of um, Into Darkness. And like I said, they did it better. It was yeah. a lot more Star Trekky and a lot more imaginative. I thought. Well, they learned from their mistakes, and I think that yes. the show lends yes. to that. Yeah. All right. Um, All right. So, what we, did you guys? Where do we have any cons for the episode? Anybody? Yes. Oh, yes. All but right. I'm so, gonna let Jason do that one. I'm gonna all hail Badgie. Badgie's king, mate. You brought this up first in our chat room that we thoughts. had during the week. And okay. Mate. Yeah. Go hard. Oh, okay. You now remember. Yeah, you know what I'm going to talk about. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Please, please talk about it. And I, I talked about this on TikTok. So if anybody follows me on TikTok, you know exactly oh, what I'm go. about to say. Yeah. Robert freaking Beltran turned in the worst vocal performance I have ever heard in a in any animated series in a very long time he sounded like he didn't care if he was there Mm. everything he said was without emotion and without passion at one point Chakotay kind of goes I'm sorry I'm in Admiral Janeway and it was just flat there was nothing there um, either he is just a bad voice actor, which is possible. I mean, he, 
I, I, I'm going to say, I don't mean any disrespect towards Mr. Beltran, even though this is like super disrespectful. He was never the strongest actor to begin with. Nope. Um, his vocal performance was worse. So either he's just a really bad voice actor or he doesn't care if he's there or not. And he's doing it for the paycheck. And considering that he spent 20 years trashing the show and trashing the direction of the show, even while he was on the show, I'm kind of going with option B. He doesn't care if he's there, which makes me wish they'd have chosen a different character to be the captain of the protostar, mm. you know, like the, Harry uh, uh, Kim, would have been. Harry Kim or Tuvok, <laughs> Tuvok. someone who cares. Yeah. Tuvok and is, I, I really hope that they friend. give him some, some coffee or an adrenaline, adrenaline shot because it really worries me that he's going to be such a linchpin of this series. And it seems like he doesn't even care if he's there or not. Mm. And my second con is it's a character con. I liked the character of Frex throughout most of the episode yeah. until he abandons them kids. F them because kids. As soon, yeah, F them kids. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> uh, I really hope Janeway picks up his escape pod and then chews him out and spits, chews him up, spits him out as like a decommissioned officer who cleans the toilets. Mm. Because that's just so un-Starfleet. And that is yeah. such a bad impression for these kids to get. And I know that they're all freaked out because the station was blowing up. But the one Starfleet person that they've met, aside from Hologram Janeway, left them to die. Mm. I mean, come yeah. on. Yeah. I, but um, but overall, another, I love um, the episode. That, <laughs> yeah. Another little con I have, going back to Beltram, actually, that scene from a storytelling perspective as well, never felt... Never felt genuine to me because the intimacy that Janeway is showing Chakotay, just I don't know. It just never felt right. It there never was felt, no emotion. And I to know it. there's been some in the like they've done that in the show, but it just <laughs> felt so like inappropriate for the storyline and the character at that point where they are. Yeah. For him to stroke, and like for her to stroke his face, felt like what are you trying to say here? This is not the Janeway. You're presenting yourself to be in every other aspect of the show. Um, yeah, they're trying to establish that he means everything to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I didn't catch that. Now, on the flip side, there was a scene earlier in the episode where Janeway is fixing Doll's uniform and he's complaining. Mm. And he says, what if they don't like me? And she said, well, uh, what if what if they just see the real me? And she says, well, you know what? Let them see the real you because, yeah. you, know, you know, you're the best you you can be. And he hugs her. Yeah. And yeah, that's that there. was a genuine touching scene because yeah. that was such a leap for yeah. Dal who trusts nobody to hug this hologram. And Janeway was, yeah, that, I just, my heart melts just yeah. looking at that. That picture. was a beautiful moment. I agree yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. That was. yeah. And can I just say, I love those uniforms. They are cool uniforms. They are Look, so cool. They're really cool. You know what I'm getting? I gotta say, guys, like the uniform, this. These guys have seasonal uniforms now. They <laughs> might as well have their own Starfleet like catwalk for every yeah, summer. Yeah. I'm telling you, Release. Starfleet hired Garrick, and Garrick is yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. oh, that's what's so last year. Look at these uniforms. <laughs> and he's yeah. making good money, clearly, because yeah, they just keep pumping out different. Are these uniforms. buttless chaps? Indeed, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Those are for Julian. <laughs> but I will say the modern designers of the Star Trek. Uh, Star Trek uniforms are pretty great. Like, yeah. Yes. I, like I even love, the, there's, yeah. there's no bad uniforms on the show right now. I love every single uh, one of them. I'd cosplay yeah. as any one of them, except maybe the Prodigy ones because I don't have the body for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, like, I, nobody I wants to see me in a speed suit. Yeah. Sorry. They're going to all uh, have back issues later, just like just like Jean-Luc did. That's yeah. why they changed oh, yeah. their oh, yeah. piece. Well, yeah. that's one of the benefits well, of being Patrick Stewart animated. had back issues. That's why they went to a cotton. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I remember but, watching that. That was... Uh, Funny. I'd like to, and like they to smelled bring... bad too. Oh, yes. The the, the material yes. held on to bo, and the, yeah, it, they just smelled. They reeked. Apparently, oh. ouch. <laughs> I want to bring up some interesting comments. Uh, we were talking oh, about Beltran's do. performance, and we got an yeah. agree. I agree. I think he didn't care, and I hope they kill off his character. <laughs> I'm well, where right is there he too. right now? Then where is he? If the proto star, where did they leave him? We've got we've got a little oh, bit of a clue the, where he is. I, I honestly think it would be kind of a big story moment if Janeway is too late and she like finds his his decayed body somewhere. Uh, you know what? And I'm not saying you, that because I hate Chakotay or I hate Robert Beltran. I'm just saying it would be strong, and if Beltran doesn't care, then you know, do it, do it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. And a way to turn it turn his character into kind of a bit of a martyr, I think is actually right. Yeah. I hope it Rex actually gets rescued yeah. by the kids he insulted. That would be kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hope Rex gets rescued by the kids yeah. he insulted. Yeah. 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 Oh, you left us behind to die. Oh, you know, it's all right. Hi, Space, space Mom. Like, Mom. It's space Mom. Oh. And yeah. then Hi, Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Either and way. then my mom says, I guess I had a Halloween hangover. Oh, wow. It happens. I yeah. mom had a big knock. I ate 14 yeah. paydays. I understand. Must have been a hell of a, hell of a party. Yeah. <laughs> there and there we go. All right. Caught up. So. Well, so, yeah, like we had we we had the end of a series, the like end of a season, and I thought they did okay. I think Prodigy did a better job like this week in regards to dealing with what they had to do with because they were flip side episodes end of the season start of the season but definitely Pr- prodigy felt to me they had a better handle on how to start the season mm. whether they have the right kind of handle at the end of it we'll find out i agree yeah, but you know special it's, guest. There you go. oh our little <laughs> base puppy because no. he smells yeah. in uh yeah. in lower decks defense though i think that we've seen historically it's easier to have a good season premiere than a good season finale. Yeah, that is true. So that you know, is true. Yeah. In, Lower yeah. Decks yeah. is a purely delightful show, but yes, this episode was stronger than Lower Decks. Yep. Uh, yeah, I love Prodigy. And, I, I love the show. I don't think yeah. enough people are talking about it. No, I no, I agree. And you actually, I hadn't watched it when we started doing stuff together, Jason and, and Joe. You both, you guys pushed me. I mean, you got to watch it. You got to watch it's it. Really? You good. were saying, you were saying, let's just skip Prodigy and just do. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm like, that's oh, right. no, 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 yes, no. We're doing so Prodigy. Right. Yeah. Yes. And I must admit, like, after watching hey, Prodigy hey, and catching hey. up, I was like, oh, oh, he's uh, example 3047. Of Jason being wrong because <laughs> uh, this show is great. Um, yeah, it's really and, and, and considering it is, it I killed the the broadcast earlier by hitting the wrong button. I don't think I need to be pointing fingers at other people for being wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, I I really excited now because we got ten episodes of Prodigy. Yeah, yeah. Prodigy Sorry, gets twenty so. episodes a season, and, and yeah. I think we counted it up, and it it's going to take us to the end of the year. Yep. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah. Should we get into future speculation? Let us get into Please do. I ask you, Captain, what conclusion would you draw? Well, what is our future speculation? Do you guys feel, I feel like you guys have got some ideas about. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on. You guys go Let's say it. it at the count of three, all right? I just want to know if we're in sync. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Iconium. He's a new gen. Or, oh. <gasps> No, no, he'll play it wrong. Okay, okay, I'm gonna. So, Jason, what did you say? (laughs) Veggie, go first. Veggie, you go first. Okay, I think I got to thinking about all of the species that would instantaneously be like contact Starfleet right now. Iconians, so the demons of air and darkness. Oh, remember they had a galaxy spanning empire and then they disappeared and they have all these gateways that go between all these different planets. Maybe that's how the, some of the alpha quadrant species have made their way to the Delta quadrant. I don't know, but just to me, that was the first thing I thought of was maybe Dal's an Iconian. Wow. Wow. That, what did you say? I, well, I don't like mine anymore. <laughs> no, you have to say it. You, you got to say it. No, 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 I will. No, you can't it, back dude. out of it now. No, I won't Go, back out of it. Come on, man. So, so I was thinking, all right, we're, we're getting all these lead-ups and all these nods to Deep Space Nine. Uh, we do know that Odo is now the head of the Founders, and the Founders are no longer interested in Space Conquest of War. So mm-hmm. my thought is maybe they're building a new type of Gem Hadar, mm. and, and the new Gem Hadar does not need Ketrasol <laughs> Catch yourself, woof! Catch yourself, white. Hey, oh, I'm on the show. <laughs> Can you stop? Do not scold Space Puppy. You <laughs> apologize to Space Puppy right now. Yeah, oh, you, want, you want to get back on the show? Come here. Apologize with tears. <laughs> so that was my you theory. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Let's. What What is the? Uh, maybe I'll. While you grabbing your doggo, let's see if anyone else has got any theories up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Oh, I don't see any theories. No, not really yet. He could also be one of the. Oh, we have children. got. Uh, here we go. Nina did say she agreed the prodigy was way better than Lower Decks. It was. It was. It was very much. Just... Yeah, I think Jason summed it up earlier though by saying that it is easier to get a 
a start of a show, like get a good episode in early that is later. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I like the way they're going with Prodigy. I feel there's more mystery with Prodigy. Oh yeah, yes. I totally agree. Which I really love. I you really know love what's that. funny is that Discovery does the mystery box my- a method of storytelling where they're like, we have a yeah. mystery, we're going to solve all season. But it seems like Prodigy is doing it better. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I, do, I, I like yeah. I said, I mean, no, no disrespect to the writers. It just, yeah. I think that Prodigy yes. is episodic and yet at the same time also arc driven. And I think that that's more satisfying because at the yeah. end of every episode, you've got a completed story and you're like, yes, that was good. I wonder, they have what, found I wonder that what's balance. up with Doll. Right. 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 You've right. Doll, Jim found Hadar, the is he Iconian? Between... Is he one of Kirk's yeah. un, 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 uh, <laughs> delegitimate children? Maybe so. Oh, I don't know. that'd be fun. That'd be fun. I just want to a real high to. My other space mom, Dory. Hi. Do- my daughter's name is Dory. <laughs> yeah, we go through this every time. Hey, I know. Uh, I, I have a very short term memory. Mm-hmm. I think the season of Lower Decks was more about character development. Not um, wrong. Not wrong at all. Not wrong at all. Not, but they, I feel like they've been fairly consistent throughout the series with that. I think there are some really great character moments in every season. But yeah, it did feel like this season was chock full of it. Yeah. Uh, which makes sense given the season poster and such. This was more of the Empire Strikes Back season, Lower Decks. Yes. Yeah, we got to yeah. some dark areas, didn't we? We yeah. really did. We, yeah. we really did. So I, I, I could go with that theory for sure. Yeah. And and Space Mom is pretty excited about the precious <laughs> space puppies. On the I'm excited car. about – see, I've put my dogs outside because I plan ahead and I try to be yeah, organized. Yeah, you know, yeah, usually yeah. he doesn't bother me. He's usually – Jason's just way too focused on screwing things up from a – Yes, I'm, yeah, I'm too focused on hitting the wrong buttons. <laughs> yeah. What did that uh, button do? Okay. <laughs> It was all Very about odd. character growth, 100%. It was, I'm the yeah. packlet and, of the show today. And, I press buttons, I make show stop. Oh, man. Uh, Curse that you, that Captain the Janeway. Line. There we go. Um, I like Texas, Jason. Why? I like Texas, Jason. I like uh, both Jasons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's wrong with Australian Jason? No. Yeah, no, my Australian mom, Jason. Well, Freaking awesome! I can say I'm <laughs> telling you what's he right. He can drink Australia beer and Jason. beat up spiders. Like, See, yeah, good. he has to fight those big. And that's yeah, hard because you know the spiders have a right boxing glove on each one of their eight legs. They're just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I know you guys out there think it's funny we lost the war against the emu, but you come and try fighting the emus, all right? Oh, anyway, See, that's the way we won the war. That is historically accurate. Did you know we lost Australia lost the war against emus? Really? Look it up. Look it up. It's legit. Okay, maybe his Odo's love child with an organic. But we organic we've what? we've seen Dal's parents though. Oh, we saw oh. it in the second episode. Oh, I gotta go back. <laughs> He's dropping facts. All right, gotta go let's back. Move it on. Honestly, I don't know. I've been racking my brain. I don't know what that was referenced to. Or maybe I should be following it up a bit better. No, I think uh, it's. I, won't, though. I think that's in reference to uh, Iconian. Oh, okay. Be you're right, Nita F. Yes, I agree. You're right. Yeah. You know why she's right? Because she's saying both Jasons are awesome. But look what, Good look what Space Mom 1.0 oh. says. Right underneath that, I like oh, Australian, Australian Jason, Jason yeah. too. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. You're just afraid he's going to get drunk and end up at your front door one day. <laughs> oh, sleep on your couch. There was a wallaby in my bed. <laughs> It's happened before. It might oh, happen again. Wow. Uh, go find another bed. All man. right. <laughs> yes, sir. So we kind of did a weird hybrid, completely uh, strange <laughs> show this week. Yeah, we did. It could go wrong. <laughs> but we are moving forward just with Prodigy now for the next nine weeks. Now Correct. It's all about Prodigy, isn't it, Indeed. Guys? Indeed. Yes. And then so, we shall return yeah. to the Agony booth. After that, we will After return that. for in the early in the new year. We'll be doing a series for the Agony Booth just because uh, I don't know. We're saddest. We like hurting ourselves. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, 100%. Yes, yes, yes. This was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, you learn a lot more when you make mistakes because that's the point of mistakes. You learn from. And I must be the smartest man in the world. Yeah, <laughs> and I yeah, will, I don't know, guys. You know, <laughs> I I got to get more treats for my puppy so he can uh, stop barking. <laughs> All right, 
All well, right. Well, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for listening. Yeah. And if you downloaded it, thanks for downloading. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I was looking for the button. Subscribe. Right, <laughs> subscribe. Yeah, right. Right. And what did you think? Comment your favorite about the show below, about Lower Decks or about Prodigy or Star Trek or you know anything uh, are, uh, which who's out. your favorite jason are, are yeah. we doing stupid yeah. star trek this questions uh no not this week no we're not doing one no, this no, week no. sorry we didn't imagine unless you have one jason because if you've got a last minute one we'll do it we'll do it now damn it we'll do it live <laughs> 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 oh stupid star trek question okay if you don't um, have one uh, yeah we purposely because we did a double episode this week guys we thought we're going to be running for forever, and I'm glad we didn't because I think we started this seven hours ago. This live stream, <laughs> I think so. We'll be back well, next. Six and week. a half, I mean, if you count that thirty minutes I killed the broadcast. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. So yeah. now we'll definitely be back with uh, stupid Star Trek questions next week. And John, oh wait, 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 wait. Well, what does Star Trek have a good admiral? Yes, well they do. Admiral, they do. Admiral yeah. from Discovery. Admiral from Discovery. Great admiral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, what about admiral Ronnie Cox? Kirk's? Oh, Jellico! We we respect Jellico in this house. Jellico was amazing. He's, Jellico he's will be appearing on the season of Dis- of uh, Prodigy. A prodigy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's a tough admiral, but he's a good admiral, right? Right, he is. Right, he is. he is a good admiral. He's just. And I'm sorry, know, Riker was a putz in that episode, and he, he deserves was. to be relieved and, of duty. And by the way, how entitled are you? You think you can just go? No, oh, I'm not sure how I feel when I want to stay or when I go. It's like, since when would you get a choice in that scenario? Yeah, right. Take the promotional, get the hell out of stuff. Yeah, you know. yeah. damn it, <laughs> damn it, you know, damn it. Just because, <laughs> just because you hadn't signed your contract yet, so we yeah. had to kind of ride around it. Exactly, so exactly. All right, there are some good Star Trek, so that's a little mini stupid Star Trek. There we go. Question. There we go. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know, I like Nechev also. I know a lot of people don't like Nechev. I loved Nechev. Really? She was, she... was she was the little witch admiral from. Yeah, from, uh, next gen. from hell, from next gen. You know, right? she'd walk the in there. It's like, "Hello, Admiral Nechev. It's good to have you in there." Shut up, Picard. Here, I'm here to give you your orders. Give me this. Give me this food. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, here's your orders. Now, get the hell out of here. And then yeah. she, it felt like it almost felt like if she'd walked into the room and just slapped him across the face, it would be appropriate. That's how I, she would. Start I will a also say that if Nechev would have been a guy, no one would have had a problem with him. Ah. Mm. Uh. I'm just Ooh, saying. Oh, oh, I don't I'm know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I mean, I don't know if gender saying. or sorry, sex has anything to do with whether you're an asshole at, or not. Mm. I think asshole because Nechev and Jellico are basically the same person. Yeah, and yeah, that, I'm not saying Nechev was bad though. She was an no, asshole. She was awesome. Like, I loved her. It was like, but that okay, was, this is this okay. To be honest, somebody like Nechev is somebody I could work for very well. And I you will tell you why, the- because there's no pretense. If you do a bad job, they tell you you do a bad job yeah. and you fix your bad job. Yeah. Uh, if yeah. you don't do something that they want done, they tell you do this thing and you do it. Mm-hmm. And whenever they tell you good job, it means the whole world because you know you've done a good job. Yeah. I suppose you so- need counterbalance too, because you have so many corrupt admiral. Mm-hmm. You do need tough. Straight down oh, the yeah. line because mm. oh yeah, that's the problem they've done with Star Trek, and I, I <clears> think <throat> they need to put a, a meritorium on. No more bad admirals. For yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You well, need I, to build their rep back up before you Mariner's start. dad is a good admiral. Admiral go. Ross yeah. is a good admiral. Ross was an awesome admiral. Admiral yeah. Ross, that's my favorite yeah. admiral, and I'll die on that hill. Okay, there you well, go. They named a the starship class after him, so you know, I think yeah, he did a good know. job. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. All right. Do we want to roll the outro because I love it? The what? Star Trek the Star Trek question one? Oh, right, because you just wanted me to play it again, which I'm happy to do. Join us next week for more stupid Star Trek questions. There's so much it's epicness in that, just so you know. It's just <laughs> like, oh, I like when it ends, just goes whoosh, you know. It, uh, I feel like I was watching Laugh Olympics before I made that. <laughs> Look at that kind of, you know, with the voice and everything. I mean, it was, it's so good, man. I love it. I love it. All right. there you go. Friends, thank you uh, so much for joining us this week. Admiral Paris, there's another good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Nita. Well done. Yeah, Nita, Nita you got us like, 
that's almost a show in itself, Nina, is like, you know, rate your Admiral, Star Trek. Yeah, Admirals. there you go. Maybe we'll do that. That'll be good. Yeah, Admiral to we'll Admiral. Ooh. <laughs> I like All right, title. friends, we are part of the wondrous Trek Talk community. We are slowly diving deep into all things Trek on this show and <laughs> on TikTok. So make sure you follow us there at Trek Talk. For me, I'm at Disc Dungeon. More on that later. Uh, you can reach our good friend Australian Jason, whose phase is ready, at VHS Jace. Our good friend Jason Roy Gatson, who you know is Badgie this week. Uh, you can find him there. He's probably got some of the most fun TikToks that you'll see. And if you're, you're only into saying that, this, that because it's true. Yeah. And if you're into the nostalgia like I am, you definitely got to follow VHS Jace. He's got some amazing intros for some of my favorite cartoons as a child. Got some crackers coming up too. Oh my God. Every time I like, oh, what's he put since? Because I want to see how much I'm going to memorize these intros and sing along with all these <laughs> wondrous things. And of course, our good friend Annie, who couldn't make it, uh, we are always fond in memory she of her. She's in the Bahamas right now. <laughs> yeah, um, she's doing I thought she was saving lives. No, oh, no, come on. She's saving lives in the Bahamas. She just said, yeah, she's so, saving her so, own life that is by having so a so selfish. <laughs> I want to be there. Yeah, yeah, I think she's setting up, what is it, septic tanks down there or something? Yeah. What? <laughs> I, I need to pay more attention that? to the chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. And, and if it's all right, Joe, I'm just gonna cap. I'm gonna throw out by. Let's see where we are with stuff. Oh yeah, let's do that. Motion picture. We'll, we'll end the show with that. All right. All right. Take care, everybody. So, see you guys. <laughs>